name is Leslie Sorensen. I'm the costume shop supervisor at Two River Theater. Um, during this time where we're all still at home, um, we wanted to share a couple things with you from our costume storage. Uh, we're gonna look at a couple things from August Wilson's Ma Rainey. Um, so this morning I bought uh, the fur coat that Ma Rainey wore, or Nisha wore on stage. It's this um, great kind of faux fur because there was a lot of action in this show and a lot of movement, and so we needed to make sure we didn't use a vintage piece that would, wouldn't be able to withstand all of the, the action that it got. Underneath, we have this kimono that our team made at Two River. Um, the kimono wasn't part of the original design, but we discovered we needed another piece between conversations with the director, the actress, and the costume designer. Um, we just found that we needed one little more thing for Ma Rainey to be able to play with on stage and move around. So the fabric for this was kind of a challenge to find um, because we wanted something like colorful but sheer and had movement and slough so it sort of needed to be all of these different things. So we finally found a company called Thai Silks out of Thailand um, and they have these amazing swatch cards where you can take a look and see what all these different kind of fabrics that they sell. So this fabric uh, is, a, is a silk burnout velvet. A lot of bang for the buck between the color and the sheerness and the, the, the movements, the way she was able to switch this around on stage. The second thing we want to talk a little bit, little bit about was the um, actual dress that Ma Rainey wore, or uh, that Arnisha wore as Ma Rainey. Um, unfortunately, the dress we weren't able to save because people don't under understand how much um, wear and tear these garments get on stage, but you're wearing the same dress every day and we have 30 some performances uh, plus a lot of text so things don't always last that long but what I do have is the fabric that's left over. So in the original design we had a lot of different fabrics coming together to create the dress and this piece is an interesting piece. It is a piece of um, charmeuse silk. So charmeuse silk before it's pleated is a very soft and flowy fabric. Um, but this kind of really tight organic pleating was something that was popular in the 20s and an important thing to integrate into the dress. So you can see in the final dress that we've got um, a couple panels um, in the skirt and then a little bit across the neckline. So what's kind of cool about this particular fabric is the pleating process. So this is something that we cannot replicate in this shop. This is a fabric that gets sent to a place called The Pleaters. Um, there's a couple of them in New York City. Um, we use this place called Tom and Sons. They've been around for forever and they were really great working with us, um, trying to figure out exactly what the look we were going for, the fabric we wanted to use, and how to achieve this effect. Um, and so this is called mushroom pleating, because it's organic. Not everything is exactly the same um, when you see like a, a, a pleated skirt. So this has got a little bit of a more interesting texture to it, and it kind of speaks to that artistic vibe um, that we were going for. So that's the fabric. Um, and the third thing we wanted to share with you is, I, and Ma Rainey um, was a real person, so we have a lot of uh, photographs of her. And Ruben Santiago Hudson, the director, was very, he, I love working with him. He is so detail-oriented. So in our first meetings, he talked about Ma Rainey's gold teeth and that he really wanted to replicate this on stage. So um, our team was like, okay, we'll look into this, see how to achieve this look. And so we found a jeweler based in Manhattan that does um, custom gold teeth and gold work. So they were able to send us a dental mold um, that, we were, that we did on our actress, took the mold and mailed that back to them. And then from the mold, the artisans are able to create these very specific kind of gold teeth. And we used two caps for from Ma Rainey for Arnisha to wear. Um, it's really, in doing the research about Ma Rainey, they, somebody had written about when she sings, her mouth, her gold teeth would like glitter in the lights. And so it was, it was important to capture those, those very little details 
um, about her so we can kind of bring the whole picture to life. Um, so that's a little bit about Ma Rainey, um, and thank you for watching.